In this video, we are going to go over how to find your Instagram analytics and also how to read them. They're very simple, really, and you just need to look at a few things. So we're going to start out on your personal page. So you want to log into LinkedIn and you are going to be on your personal page and you're going to go up to the top here where it says me, scroll over to the left and click the home button. I just want to make sure we're all in the same place here. Okay, so now if you look at this left hand column, you can see who viewed your profile. So we can click on that and we can get a list of people who viewed our pro profile. Um, you can see some of them, you won't see all of them. But in the last, this is the last 90 days, 247 people have viewed my profile. The other thing I can do is click all profile viewers. And again, you may not see them all because a lot of people have their settings set so that others can't see when they view a profile. Um, let's click the back arrow and click the back arrow one more time. Okay, so now we're gonna look at views of posts. And as we can see, there's 43. So if I click on that, it's gonna take me to my posts, right? Remember where we found those? We did this down arrow, manage, and it was posts and activities. Then we clicked on posts. So we've been here before. Now, when I scroll down on this one, I see one like, and I see that there are 44 views in the post. And this is the one I posted today. The next one has one like, I'm sorry, has three um, emoji clicks. So between likes and love or heart, whatever you want to call it, and one comment. And I click here to see the comment. Scroll down again, and this is a post about our Simple Marketing Academy right here. And again, we have five likes and 101 views. Now, again, we scroll down. You guys get the idea here, but you know, five likes, let's click on the likes. Those are the people who like them. And then click the X. Let's see the comments. We click on the comments. One is this uh, well, lady and one is my answer. And then I wanna show you something else. 307 views of your post in the feed. Okay, so let's click on this and click show more. Now, what's kind of cool is that you can tell what, the, what company do the people work for, okay, that have looked at my post. What is their position or uh, what level are they essentially or their title? And you can see those here. And then where are they from? We can see those here. So that's pretty cool information. Now we're going to exit out. And remember, we can look at these for each post. So you can scroll down and continue to um, do this for posts that you've posted here. So this one had 173 post um, views of it. And here you go. You can take a look at those same analytics right here. Okay. A reaction is either the thumbs up, the heart, the laughing face, the mad face, you know, all any of those emojis that you have the ability to click. So let's get out of that. Over here, I want you to see, it'll tell you how many followers you have. Now, um, when you those are people you're connected to, okay? You can also see that by clicking My Network. And if I click on My Network and I click on Connections, that number's the same. It should be about the same right there, okay? So that's pretty much how you read the analytics on your personal page. We're not gonna go into excessive detail. We don't need to. So the next thing we're gonna do is go over to our logo on the top bar, black bar, and then it's under it, it says me, and we're gonna click on that tiny little arrow next to it, and we are gonna go back on our business page, okay? Now we're on our business page. And to read the analytics on the business page, I'm going to show you something, the, the basics over here. So if you look on the left side under analytics, in the last 30 days, we've had five unique visitors, zero new followers, 17 post impressions. All that means is that my post was shown on 17 different news, well, not even different, 17 news feeds of people and two custom button clicks. Now, that can be whatever button I have in here. For instance, in this post, there isn't even one, okay? In this post, there is. There's a link right here, okay?
So that's what the click is right there. Now let's go into more detail with these analytics. We're going to click analytics on the top bar. You'll see home content, then analytics, click on the down arrow. Now, the first thing you're going to see when you click here on the visitor analytics is visitor highlights. That's pretty much preset for the last 30 days. So you can see we had 11 page views. That means somebody actually clicked on Fox Social Media's company page and looked at it. We had five unique visitors. That means that um, those were all individual people. The 11 is probably a couple people doing it more than once. And we had two custom button clicks. And again, whatever button I had on there, you know, at the time on a post. So now the other thing, look up here, you can export your analytics. And again, this is our visitors report. This strictly tells you the details about the people visiting your page. I can do all kinds of different things. I can do last 30 days. I can do last 12 months, custom. You can pretty much do whatever you want here. So it'll come out in an Excel spreadsheet and that way you can import this data into other spreadsheets if you want to. You know what? You don't have to. Don't get too bogged down with this. We're going to be able to tell enough from the analytics provided right here on our page without having to bog yourself down. I know everybody runs their business. Everybody's busy and we don't want to make this more complicated than necessary. So, okay, that's your highlights. So now if we scroll down to visitor metrics and we look at a time range, this is only a couple weeks. I'm going to change it to the last year. I kind of want to see what's going on here. So all my page views uh, are going to look like this. And what you can see is the blue is desktop, 16 views on desktop and zero on mobile. That's really interesting. If I click this button, it mixes them together. So it just says your page views. Unclick or turn this off, it breaks them down into desktop, which is blue and mobile, which is orange. Now I can also click all pages. So what are all pages mean? Well, you know, there are different sections within your business page on LinkedIn. There's home, about, insights, and people. So you can break these apart. The home page, the about page, people wanting to see what you do. So here over here, the metric is page views. Now page views, now watch, I want you guys to see this. I'm going to change this back to all and I'm going to aggregate this so you can look at it. All right, there is what you, there's what you get when you look at page views unique page views and turn this off. Can you see the difference? So page views is I could visit your page 10 times and I'll count as 10, but on unique visitors, if I visit your page 10 times, I count as one. So that kind of explains this section, I think. Now let's go down here to visitor demographics. We can learn some awesome stuff here. And again, for learning purposes, I'm going to change this to a 12 month time range. So right now I'm looking at their job function. This is not the industry their business is in. This is their particular job function within their company. So I have people whose, whose function is job, uh, business development, sales, arts and design, real estate, all kinds of really, really cool different things. Um, the other thing I can do is I can switch this to location. Where are they? They are in Orange County, California, Los Angeles, all these different places, okay? I can also click and look at seniority. This is the level they are, whether they're a partner, COO, they're entry level, they're senior um, person in their industry. And remember that um, when you see entry level, it's usually somebody looking for a job. So that I kind of don't look at, but senior owner, CXO manager, VP director, partner. These are all the people I want to reach with Fox social media. They're de the decision makers and the ones that would choose to hire me. So after seniority's industry, this is the industry, the actual business is in that these people work for. Marketing and advertising, look at that, pretty cool, huh? And financial services, real estate, then they really um, spread out after that. The next thing you can look at is company size. You know, who are you appealing to? This makes total sense to me because this is who I market to. Companies with, you know, between uh, not one, but, you know, small, maybe just a few employees to 50 employees. So this makes a lot of sense to me. So now that you've seen the visitor analytics, I want to click back over and I want to 
click on to analytics again and click on updates. Okay. These are update analytics. So again, um, anything new in the last two weeks, and we're not seeing a whole lot here. Now we are going to click on 12 months. So we're looking at uh, the same thing. Again, this is impressions. How many of my uh, posts total were shown on pages total? Unique impressions. That's, again, if I click on my page 10 times, I count as one because this is unique impressions. Clicks. How many clicks were made on links that I posted? Reactions. Once again, those are the emojis that you can click, the like button and the other things that are right there with it. Comments are pretty obvious. That's how many people commented, how many people shared a specific post, and your engagement rate. So engagement rate on LinkedIn is calculated a little bit differently than it is on some of the other social media platforms. On LinkedIn, the engagement rate is basically all of the engagement divided by the reach and then times 100, which just gives you a percentage. So that's number of comments, likes, shares, mentions, clicks, all added up and divided by the reach, which is the individual number of people who the um, particular post was placed on their, plat their uh, newsfeed. So that is, I want to say the number of people that saw it, but not everybody sees it, but at least it's on their newsfeed. So that's how you calculate the engagement rate on LinkedIn, not to be confused with other platforms, they do it differently. So I hope that makes sense. Now, here is your update engagement um, for a time range. Now, here you go. I'm going to change this once again to be 12 months because if I change it to 12 months, I can really look at a lot more information. I can look at this by um, impressions. So here's a post um, I did about a donation that Fox Social Media made. I'm the poster, a yes, always. The date it was created. Remember impressions are how many times it showed on somebody's newsfeed. And the clicks, obviously, are click, anybody that clicked a link. This one, I don't think it even had a link in it. And the click-through rate, we've just talked about that. Now, reactions are clicking the emoji. Comments are obvious and shares are sharing it. So let's take a look at something else here. So let's look at um, this one here. Let's look at this post. Do you own a small business and need to learn more about online marketing? I think this is a post I did for a webinar that I was holding with um, a few other folks. So this post was posted on April 9th. It got 52 impressions. So it was shown on 52 different, um, not different, 52 news feeds. Okay. It got two clicks through to the link and the click through rate is 3.85%. Now, the next thing I want you to look at on here is, let's scroll down here, it got four reactions, again, emoji, click an emoji, three comments and five shares. So five people shared, or five different shares this got. So that's pretty cool. And you can look at your posts and what's nice about this, and you can tell they're in reverse chronological order, is you can start to look at it and say, hmm, which one got the most impressions or the, had the best click-through rate or got the most reactions? Um, these are kind of uh, good ways to know what types of content your audience is interested in. So we are going to click the back arrow one more time. We're going to click the little analytics button and go to followers. These are the people who've actually followed your business page. So as you can see, I haven't gained any followers in the last month. So let's look down here at follower demographics. This is where the followers are located. The vast majority are in Orange County, California. That's perfect because you know what? That's where I'm located. Now this gives you companies to track. So obviously these two are mine. And it's also, I'm going to give this 12 months and see what it looks like. So it's going to give you companies to track. There may be competitors that you want to look at. Now, this company is much, much bigger than mine. And so it's not really a great comparison. But um, 
you know, that's what these analytics are for down here at the bottom. So I hope this makes total sense. Again, the export button, if you want to export these, I hope you can understand these. Again, these analytics give you information about the type of people who are reacting and following and engaging with your business and your content. So this tells you a lot about your audience. It also tells you about the types of content they're engaging with. So you can create more of that content and get get more engagement and more followers and bring more people in. And I want you to go ahead and take a look at your analytics and just kind of get a feel for what each category means so you can understand everything. And I will see you in the next video.